Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Path of Exile. But more specifically, this is the Forbidden Sanctum League of Path of Exile, because they just added a new roguelike mode to this game, and I'm very excited about that concept. I'm not that familiar. Read, I'm not familiar with Path of Exile, but the idea of a roguelike style mode for it has me very, very curious and very, very interested. So that is what we're going to be checking out here today. In, we're going to go to see what exactly it's like. So first of all, we just find these kind of rifts throughout the normal world here. Just worth noting. Yeah, just pop out, pop in. So like I just did the basic tutorial, the very basic tutorial. Walked to a zone, found this thing, and we can suddenly go into like a typical dungeon. Chambers of Inscription contains a major treasure reward. I'm sure hoping that this is something you can do at any level if they're going to offer it to you this early. So what do we have? We have some resolve. We've got a couple things here. Uh, as a low-level character, I've only got a couple things. I have a basic attack. I have a double strike that has, let's see, a chance to bleed on it, the way that, you know, Path of Exile works if you're unfamiliar. You get your moves by slotting in gems, and then, like, you can modify them with connected gems. So it is a double strike with a chance to bleed, and then I've got myself a cleave. Those are like, that's just pretty much it. Other than that, I have health potions. I got mana. I think we pretty much just got a, got a rocket, but I don't know what's going on here with this big old resolve bar, Iron Greaves. But like the possibility of a, uh, a roguelike mode being something good is, is very, very titillating. Orb of chance upgrade a normal item into a random rarity. Is that something I want to waste right away? I don't know. Like, we still have the... What the hell, dude? Okay. Okay, my resolve is going down like mad. And it seems separate from my HP, worth noting. But the enemies appear to have attacks that I can actually dodge. Which I think is something that is quite interesting. You know, like, that may not sound like a... Wow, what a novel concept, an attack you can dodge, but... I find a lot of action RPGs kind of just let you flow and just get hit a whole bunch, and then, like, that's just it. And you're just supposed to have enough health and uh, mash your face against them more effectively than they mash their face against you. I would sort of assume that a ranged build would be a little bit better here. Gotcha. Like, I don't have my moves set up for it. Can I switch with X? I sure can. Oh, boy. Okay. So he's got a bunch of different attacks here. Sanctum Guard. Back it up. Back. Oh, dang it. I'm assuming a potion does not change my resolve. It sure does not. Kite him. Very cool, though. Is that a beam? That is a spread shotgun blast. I will say, a lot of these attacks are very anti-melee, but oh, my God. Room complete. Resolve is at half. Your gem is ready to level up. We got a whole bunch of loot here. What the hell, man? Unidentified. I don't think I have any way to identify anything. Rusted sword. Can you dual wield? Sure can. Should I? Don't know. Increased global accuracy rating. Uh... We got a whole bunch of garbage. Identify. <laughs> Requires 17 intelligence. I do not have that as my class here. Okay. All right. You know, I think maybe we just rock it. Small mana flask. That's probably worth checking at. Bonus maximum charges. Okay then maybe we can bring this to like I, I really do want to reorganize all this stuff so we can carry everything but that just sounds so tedious man I'll do it like once here bada bing bada boom give that a go alright so we cleared this room does that just mean okay it just means we beat the boss it doesn't mean there's nothing here what are you doing okay so he is always doing a beam 
They actually have pretty well telegraphed attacks there. Which is great to see. Hello? Just a bunch of random garbage. Hello! Sir? Back it up. It feels like, yeah, you really need to duck and dive in and out and in and out. Oh. Alright, well, we'll do that level up in a second here. And then we'll... Oh, God! I thought I could move right here, but those books are apparently far too thick for me to move there. Where are you at? Scoot? Alright, alright. Bye-bye, boy. Okay, we have a lot of garbage to look at. Looking good. Character? Is it not? It's I. Okay. Armor 11. Do you have any gems or anything? Upgrade a normal item into random rarity. Probably check this ring. Adds physical damage to all attack and regenerate life per second. Okay. Works for me. There's a <laughs> There's so much stuff. Is this bow just the same? Okay, the thing that's different in it is the uh, the gem slots seems to be the case. So I think that that's the main thing we're going to be looking for. Like, this has... It's more or less the same as this, except for the gem slots, which seems a lot better. This is three connected things, which means we'll be able to get an attack and modify it in a couple different ways, instead of this being three separate, distinct things. I imagine you really want to find linked stuff. I'd imagine that's the case. So is my bow linked? Yeah, I have a red and a green linked. I'm sure. We'll go for that. And then let's get a little bit of an upgrade. The classic Path of Exile talent tree. Oh, so talked about is such a wild and complex tree. It's, it's really not that bad. It's just very big. Um, none of the stuff is particularly that tricky to, to parse as far as I'm aware. Let's get... Uh, Physical damage. Let's go for this here. Why not? Let's go straight forward. Let's just take some damage. But I do love that we can start this from a, a fresh character without having to worry about anything. Scroll of Wisdom. Another Identify. Sounds great. I also love that the, we have just the random guys that are almost... <laughs> almost just like pots. Like breakables urns. They're just guys. Glass shank. Don't know if that's something I'm too worried about. Templar cash. Okay. I'm going to check some settings here. Alright. Good to go. So we can level up our gems. Click to level up the cleave gem. Great. I'm sure this we're over here for a little bit, but learning, like, entering this game after, you know, not playing it is uh, there's a lot going on at the same time here okay so this is okay do we get we get all of this we get a bunch of aureus i'm gonna say hell yeah i don't know exactly what that does for me we got 305 is this like we can tap out oh there's a little bit more here we can tap out or we can keep on going further. Is that the idea? Let's keep on going. I ain't gonna tap out. Except I have to. Because this door is unclickable. I guess we're... Like, I don't want to go to the coast. The hell, man? We'll pop on out. Gotcha. So we kind of have to find another one, huh? Is that the idea? We go in, we find that, it saves our spot in the dungeon, and then we have to find another one and go deeper? That is kind of interesting. I do wish I could just, like, go for it, you know? But but hey. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll come back when I find another. Well, all right, there we go. Found another. Just... Walking into a new zone seemed to do it there. Uh, but yeah, we got got to level up. I'll probably just end up... What is this? Increase evasion and armor. Max life up. Increase attack damage. Sure. Just go for more. 
I wonder, so do we have our, we do have our same resolve, so that stays. We have no current relic effects. Store Sanctum room for later. After storing a room, you will not be able to run the Sanctum in this area. In later areas, you can run stored rooms after that area's Sanctum room is complete. Gotcha. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I am going to run and just collect a bunch. All right. I ran around. I was able to store one extra end of this one. So we're going to do that here. We're going to go on in. Uh, what's the difference here? I think I leveled up... Where do you even find that? Passive skill tree P. I, I leveled up my physical attack damage. All right. That's the that's what happened in the in-between time in the interim. Afflicts you with a door tax. Lose 30 coins on room completion. What the heck? Offers specific items on completion that I'm maybe not that aware of, though. Uh, You know... Let's kind of just give it a go. Whatever. Let's interface with the mechanics. Let's see what uh, I could potentially get, what I could potentially lose. So yeah, we, we do just lose some money on completion. Worth noting, I got another gem here, which is Onslaught Support. I don't know exactly know what it means. 10% uh, chance to grant Onslaught for 3 seconds when you hit a unique enemy. They have a chance to grant Onslaught on a killing blow. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to assume that uh, it's going to be like a type of attack speed upgrade or something. Oh, boy. We got a lot of big boys here. Back it up. Okay, so we have... That guy died just by uh, by bleed, I think, there. Where do you think you're going? Well, you're running. You're, you're going to bleed out, you ghost, you ghoul. Okay, hold on. Dodge. Okay. Took some hit from across the wall, I think. Nailed fist. I don't think so. I feel like life is not that important in this dungeon, interestingly. It feels like it's not going to be my lose condition. I think the lose condition is whatever this resolve is going to be. Which is really interesting. Okay. Let's lure out a couple. Let's lure out that guy. Come here. You. Oh my, okay, so it's like a cone. Got a sort of cone-shaped attack here. And then you also just have a standard, yeah. Ugh, you have a standard melee too, don't you? Back it up. Back it up. I, I almost greeted that. Don't greet it, don't greet it, run! Okay, so if he... Those aren't gonna explode, are they? Oh. I believe in treadmill light. Arrow quiver. Can take that probably for uh, for this here. Adds one to four to your attack. Sounds good. So do I not have? I don't. I just don't have a, a chest piece or anything. Tower shield, vest. There we go. I'll take that. Unless I want this. Evasion rating. Thirty-four. When everyone has a higher evasion, I think is probably going to be a little bit more interesting for us. Since maybe we can evade an attack that would otherwise deal damage to our resolve. Oh, we got another one of those, boys. Alright. Get you around here. Back it up. Back it up. Uh, just gotta watch out for the uh, the wild attacks here. Uh, I gotta re recognize what that one is, because I think I guess I have to run through him when he does that one. I think it's this. Yeah. Got to figure out and recognize what that one is. We got a little bit of a speed up potion. Boop, boop, boop. Holy moly. Room complete. Not even scary. Shabby jerkin. I believe in traveling light. Okay, we got a bunch of items to look through now. Like, could we sell all this stuff? Sure. If we, we really wanted to. But I'll be honest. I kind of wanted to interface with the roguelike elements of this here. Uh, you know, if people are excited about just pure Path of Exile, maybe we can figure something out. Let's just take a bunch of garbage for now and then work from there. Uh, evasion rating, rating of 35. Yeah, I feel like evasion is... And it, it's exciting to me. Scepter, physical damage 8 to 12. 
What is the attack? Attacks per second, 1.5. Ever so slightly faster. What's the range? Same. 49% increased physical damage. Okay, so this suddenly got uh, a little bit more in, a little bit more exciting. Put this on my offhand, maybe? And go like this? Does that work? This can't cleave. Gotcha. I can... Oh, shoot. So I could do it, but I couldn't cleave. Maybe that's fine. So I double strike. 13 to 29. Seems like it does a hell of a lot more if I have this on. So I think that maybe I just abandon the... Abandon the cleave for the moment. Reduce enemy stun threshold. Nah. I want to keep this because it, it's going to buff up this move like crazy. We, we have that onslaught support thing to play around with yet. We have a level up to play with too. Regenerate 1% of life per second. Increase melee physical damage. Melee strike range. Melee strike range sounds really interesting. 20 strength sounds like a big deal too. I'll tell you what. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. A little bit of... Oh, this feels so slow. Maybe not though. A little bit of strike range could go a long way. When we have to care about dodging a little bit more here. Templar cash, I'll take it. We need to build up the money that we're going to lose. Bop them. Do we need to kill these? Not really. Are these? Are they just here for flavor? Possibly just here for flavor. Watch it. Oh my god. I right clicked them and it just didn't bring me close enough. All right. Lure them. Oh! Yeah, we're doing a lot more damage now. Oh my god, we're doing a lot more damage now. Oh! Shoot! God, you don't have time to look at the fun loot. Go ham. Okay. Watch it. Somebody over in the corner. Shooting a beam. Orb of Chance Portal Scroll. Make sure we grab those. Okay. Back it up. The hell was that? Did that hit me? Whatever that thing hit me. Level up the gems. Assuming they just are stronger moves now. More or less. Yeah, I'm, I'm close to losing my resolve. I'm close to the edge. Oh, let's move on in here. Offer. Can you be tempted? Yes. Five orbs of fusing. Five orbs of chance at the end of the floor. Three right now. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be dying, but this is really cool. So I'm just going to do this. Like, just look at my health. If we, if we just take the typical track record, it's a pretty safe bet we're going to get bodied. So... This takes me out. This is because I saved the room. I was able to save one up. Alright, is there anything I should do? Augment a magic item with a new random modifier. Upgrades a normal item to a random rarity. Item is currently... Oh, you, it can't be equipped, eh? Sockets are not empty, eh? Okay. Wait... Can it change it? Global accuracy rating and some strength up. Don't mind that. I feel like I probably shouldn't, uh, you know, be wasting this stuff. But just for the sake of video purposes here, I'm, I'm excited to uh, just try things out. We could try out sw swapping the bow, but we've kind of made ourselves even more of a melee guy. Uh, than we were before. Ooh! 10 to dex, 1 to 5 lightning damage to attacks, increased attack speed, increased energy shield, stun and block recovery. Well, now that's an exciting get. 
other than that, freaking those. Increased armor, stun, and block recovery. Sure. Let's get let's get all that stuff done, and let's let's pop on in here to uh, inevitably Badai. Offers items on completion. It contains a fountain. Oh, we have to do this first. It contains a minor treasure. Afflicts you with golden smoke on entry. Rewards are unknown on the Sanctum map. All right. Okay, let's watch out here. So yeah, we lost our ability to cleave. Okay, so you're a little bit more frail. Get out of here. I do love the fact that we totally have to move around. Otherwise, you actually take all of this resolve. Again, I don't know what happens when it hits zero, but I'm kind of imagining it's my new lose condition. Otherwise, it feels like, why would it exist? I understand that attack now. Gotcha. Here, you're gonna shoot that out. Oh my god. What the hell, dude? It dashes, and then it, like, blows up Attacks, movement speed, cast increased by 20%. Okay. It dashes, it leaves behind a bunch of, like, shades of itself. And then it works from there. Come here, dude. Come here, big boy. I want to fight you out here. I want to fight you on my turf. Is that okay? Shouldn't be that bad. Standard melee. Oh, my damage! As we learn their attacks better and better, it's going to be easier and easier to get further. Oh, new guy. No, oh, new guy. Well, about learning attacks, I do not know this one's. And he is not moving. Maybe if I break line of sight, he'll follow me down here. Got to look out. The ring of fire could possibly still show up under my feet. Come here, dude. No, he's running back. No, guy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fight me. Fight me over here. All right, fine. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, my God. What is that? It's like a little bit of a tornado attack. Okay. Got another attack coming. Yeah, that tornado is sort of bouncing around. Do we wait until we get the uh, the speed up potion? Possibly. God, I... Oh, I can't get in. Oh, I, I risked the biscuit. Move! We got a couple things to check out here for sure. Yeah, doing a little dance. Templar cash. Thank you. Short bow, we might as well, right? Short bow needling, increased physical damage, increased crit chance. I mean, it's certainly way the hell better. But. Shabby jerkin, gnarled branch. Like, should I be bringing all this stuff back? Trying to, like, sell stuff? I. I I don't know. Like, I probably should in standard, like, loot goblin-y fashion. Uh, but from what I remember, it's less um, integral to pick up everything in Path of Exile, unlike... Oh my god, I don't have my melee weapon. Unlike some other action RPGs where you're supposed to just grab it. Ah, I walked sideways back into it. I thought that... I was good. I can't tell where you're looking! Thank you. Man, I walked back into it again. He exploded on death. Please don't die to this guy. Blacksmith's whetstone. Improve the quality of a weapon. Certainly I can't. Wait. Quality plus one. Okay. I can Medium life flask. I'm not that worried about the life flasks in this. You can, like, choose how many health, how many etc, etc you want to go for. 
I, I feel like I'm fine with the amount of life flasks I have. Like, I'll take it, I guess. It's, it's a medium. Like, it's better, I guess. But uh, compared to, like, the main game where you probably just want to grab a whole bunch of health potions and sort of just vibe, you might care a little bit more about, like, a movement speed potion to dodge out of attacks or, like, a mana potion for just, like, dungeon exploration reasons. Uh, you, you may, you may. Templar cash. Oh, I certainly forgot to grab some stuff in that last one, didn't I? Unless that one thing that was up here was the thing. No more rooms. All right, I'll go look for some more. Cone helmet, pog champ. Oh my God. Scale vest, pog champ. All right, I found another one. And I got a couple skills back at the home base. Just a hell, what the heck? We just, can we, there. Boom, boom. Uh, I basically, I move this to to my primary attack, because if I don't have energy, I should just do a standard attack. But we also unlocked, uh, I got a dash gem, which is just as exactly as it sounds, which I think for this mode seems really, really nice. We also have the option of two different totems, one that will do some melee attacks for us, or we can swap to this one, which taunts if we need a little bit more safety. So let's check. Uh, we got a level up. Let's take a gander at some of the things we could get. Increased maximum mana and mana regen rates. It's honestly pretty decent here. Uh, attack skills, deal bonus damage while holding a shield. With two-handed melee weapons. No, I have two one-handed melee weapons. Like, I could certainly go for increased attack speed. Like, that extra mobility sounds really nice. Ignore movement penalties from armor. I didn't even realize I had one. Increased damage while dual wielding. All right, it seems like that might be the angle to go, but the question is, how do I get there? Do I get there from, like I could go, bop, bop, bop. Mana regen into Art of the Gladiator, like extra mana regen, intelligence, stuff like that, into attack speed, into dual wield. Like that could be not too bad, or I could just go the standard attack speed. I mean, this would take a longer time. But you know what? Attack speed just seems really nice. Screw it. I don't need to min-max it. Like, I can go back and I can change stuff. And also, we're going to die, aren't I? Oh, those were hidden because of the... Gotcha. I'm going to die. 100%. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, this is like a boss? Yeah, I'm even more dead than I already knew I was. Okay. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Scooch. No, dash! Press the dash button! <laughs> Come on! Okay, I'm very curious now what happened. So I have to find a... Whole another? Oh, it's, uh, oh no, my secret's out. I, uh, was not going for that. So why couldn't I dash there? Uh, attack, dash. Kind of eats the input if you don't do it early. All right, well, I'm gonna go find another zone. Don't mind me. Well, all right, back at it again in the Sanctum. Contains a fountain afflicts with dark pit on entry. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, dark pit is what it says below. Traps impact, 100 increase resolved. Uh, it contains major treasure reward, afflicts you with 40% less movement speed. When you gain an affliction, gain an additional random minor infliction. Forever? Forever? God, they are all going to sound pretty rough. I mean, I guess I don't have to worry about it yet. All right, in we go. We back have a uh, back to our standard resolve here. Let's use this standard turret for a moment. Oh, God. Move. Oh, uh, we magnetized. We got some resolve damage already. Not great. Okay, good. Orb of Regret. That's me. The second I press the left mouse button. Locking myself into that attack. I also realized that the, uh, the dash has its own internal cooldown that is separate from the mana cost. I just kind of want to clear these out of the way. I don't want them to eat my attacks. Excuse me. Please dash. 
Please dash. Got like a new type of enemy. Similar but new. I was going to say that sure looks like an AoE. I can't see you. Okay. Okay. Get out. You son of a gun. He's a tricky one. I kind of want to not fight him in that little hallway if I could help it. Okay. A little bit better. Okay, get out. Good. Uh. What? <laughs> oh, did I kill him? <laughs> I think I killed him in the air. I think I killed him in the air. Medium mana flask. Yes, please. I'm going to take it over a health potion right now. I'm more likely to want mana at the moment than, than health. Because health potion, I press it, it does nothing for the resolve. Okay, who else we got in here? There can still be enemies. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Good deal. Yeah, took a lot more damage than I really would have liked in that one there. Okay, back it up. That guy's going to explode up there. Sir? Oh, God, we got a couple. Uh, fighting both is a little spooky. Dodge it up. Oh, you, you're bleeding? You're bleeding. Oh, come on! Why would the explode after death garbage? Or was that just his AoE shades that he, like, left before? Is that what that is? I'm so used to that kind of stuff just going away on death, you know? At the end, this at the end of the floor, this after completing the Sanctum. I'm assuming the floor is the whole kit and the whole caboodle. Like, honestly, who cares? I'm not going to do it, but like, sure. At the end of the floor, get an extra buff here, get the attack speed up, and I'll be right back. Back at it again. <laughs> All right. So, fountain, I'm assuming that a fountain is a resolve heal. I'm afraid of what traps will do to me, but alas. What are you going to do? So yeah, we're just on our first floor here. Watch out for traps. I'm bothered by the... Okay, so that's going to be a trap. Ooh, new guy. Who dis? Oh. Forgot I swapped up my attacks from left and right there. Okay. Woo! Woo! Did that hit? Oh, it did. All right. Down a decent amount of resolve already. We got... I kind of want to, like, step into that and dodge out, but I'm afraid that it's going to be an instant trigger. And I'm going to just take the damage immediately. Ooh. This guy is slow enough that I <laughs> can dash through him. If I'm not in the middle of a cooldown, I don't know if maybe I was just out of mana for that one. Okay, so it is on a delay. It's good to know. Okay, kind of bait him out here. Sir. Yeah, I don't, I, like, I don't know if using that in that exact way is too good of a call. What, do you think I don't see you or something? Okay. Oh! Ah, you son of a gun. Oh, wait. This thing's busted, maybe? 
Can we like super duper cheat? I think we have to be I think we have to be close to that. But like for example, is this close enough? That's close enough? Ah uh, yes. Engaging. Like I don't really want to play that way. If I'm going to be honest, but like good god is that obviously very strong to just not have to play the game from on the other side of a corner. Fish scale gauntlets. Long sword is interesting. I don't I don't think I don't think I'll go for it though. In and out. Watch out. The resolve. Lol. I can't look at that. What the hell, dude? That's just allowed? Um, okay, hold on. Okay, I mean, in this room, I'm a little bit more hesitant. Kind of want to dash out. Maybe I want to get that teleporty man over in my zone. Teleporty man, where'd you go? Okay, watch out. Can't really approach him this way. I'd have to dash on through him, trying to bait out an attack here. I can't do this just yet. Holy flame totem. Certainly curious. Summons a totem that channels a to channels to fire a stream of flame at nearby enemies, creates an area of consecrated ground around the totem. I mean I'll just grab it. I mean, it seems very cool. Get out of there. I kind of want to taunt this guy. I feel like getting him to sit still for a goddamn second is the most appealing thing I can think of. Okay. Uh, are those... They go off on proximity. Gotcha. Those are... What the hell? Throwing grenades. So it's, it seems like he might not have a melee attack. So, like, that's the benefit here, I think. Dude. Oh, my. Sir, stop running. Why are you running? Dash. Okay. Okay. You are chaotic and I hate you. Dash out of there! Oh, man. Another one. Proc it. Get out. Bronze Scepter. Very neat. I feel like I did okay there, all things considered. God, like, the tedium of having to grab every single thing and bring it all the way back to town, like, just to get scraps of stuff seems just, like, too much. Too much for me. Bonk, bonk. Smacking every single one of these guys when we don't need to? Not tedious. <laughs> oh! What? Why? Okay, that's going to explode. Watch it. I don't want to just use the totem for cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. I do kind of want to see what this look, this one looks like. Ooh. It's pretty cool looking. That thing is pretty darn neat. Uh, We have... Bap, 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 bap. Oh, did we never apply those points? I could have sworn... All right, what do you got here? All right, maybe we, maybe scooch out. Let's check out definitely what is this shrine. Twenty-five percent of your max resolve for five quick. That's that's pretty cool. I'll be right back. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Guess who's back? Back again. Uh, okay. So from here we can go to any of these 
50% reduce resolve recovered. How do I re wait? What? You mean you mean I get a buff that sticks with me for the entire run? That's what you mean, right? Uh, doesn't seem like it matters too much. Minor tre I, you know what? I feel like I don't take the treasure reward that often. I'm, I'm certainly curious. This is a fun, like, different way to kind of level up. I will say I am, like, weird bum rush running through every single zone, more or less, to unlock this. I wish, obviously, if you haven't pieced it together, I would prefer to kind of just play around in this mode if I could. But I feel like, oh, no, it's this guy. If you have this uh, this game and you you did that, maybe you'd be like, oh, well, people aren't going to interface with the normal game then because of the way that leagues work is they're sort of uh, what everybody plays for a while, you know? Get the hell out. Okay. Bonk. No. Hello. Oh, I freed him. Okay. Yeah, I kind of just want to work with him. Instead of just using only him, which feels... That feels scummy. Fighting alongside a friend? Decidedly not scummy. Heroic and full of honor. Oh my god, I walked back into it. Okay. I believe in traveling light. I believe in traveling light. I believe in traveling light. Okay, so I'm worried about... Ugh, fire boy! Okay, hold on. I th thought he was going to do the dash. Get out. That's going to explode. Oh my. You know what? Screw you. Well, that's right. He shoots out the fireballs, though. What, are you, what attack are you doing? Looks like he tried to do an attack, but it fizzled, maybe? Confusing. Fire arrow quiver. That sounds fun. I believe in traveling light, though. I totally do. Like, look at me. I don't want to loot any of this garbage. If I was playing, like, a long-term character and I thought that this was going to be, like, a recurring thing, maybe, maybe I would, wouldn't believe as much in traveling light. Goat's horn. It's a wand. I mean, I'll, I'll take it because I imagine it sells for a lot more. But I believe in traveling light. I'm alive. Do we get anything for breaking these? Do we get like a little bit of money or something? I'm breaking these, killing these guys. They kind of just slowly walk away from us. I'm sure there's like some builds that ironically have some kind of benefit to their being just random rinky-dink enemies around, you know? I'm sure there's something like that. Scoot. 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 A little bit of money. Oh, that's right. Okay, so the chests are just these. All right. One more. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. <laughs> I feel like this might be that mini boss, and that's kind of just what I wanted to uh, check out. Less coins found. Why would we do this? If they both have, you know, like when I, oh God, never mind. I keep on getting that. When I see these with the border, I feel like that means you are here, but that's not the case. Uh, don't know what those are. All right, well, we'll head on in. We got, oh, you have a, we have a level up thing to spend from my running around. Bada bing, bada boom. Some more attack speed. I also got myself this. Just an ability to jump and slam now. In between things. Just, you know, doing standard stuff. Okay, we do not have Zebus. So if I jump on them, it makes them uh, maimed currently. Meaning they will take a little bit more physical damage. I tried to press the jump button. 
It's a little bit uh, tighter than that. Like, I can't just go wild with it. My butt. Oh, that's very tight. Is it actually aiming over there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to proc this. I can't. Can that hit him? Dash! Holy crap! Please! Just... Can I jump through? No. There's limits. Bonk. What if I just, like, leave them for long enough? If we... Woo! If we would get something, um... Going for us. Oh, the dash is so good. That jump is so good for that guy. Really good for that guy. Can I jump? I've, yeah, I was gonna say. I bet I can jump up here. Okay. No. Uh, not bad. Get the mana. Get the mana. Get the mana back. I need to make sure I jump far enough to the other side. Very good, very good. Jump to the other side. Oh, I think I took a little bit, but that's so cool. Man, just having a little bit more mobility is a really big deal. I feel like the builds that you use for this versus standard are probably so different, right? Like, in, in standard, I'd imagine, you know, like, you get hit, you get hit, you know? Like, you want to avoid it, obviously. But it's not like you have this extremely finite amount there that you got to worry about. Oh, he died to bleed. Whoop. Whoop. But, like, just having that one little jump and my mom got scared. Uh, really big deal. Oh, God. Infernal Harpy. And that guy, too. Okay, hold on. A little summon you summon. Back it up. Oh! Do do Don't know what that guy does. So I'm just going to assume it's terrible. Okay, we got the big boy. Got to make sure I have enough mana. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. That feels so good, though, is the thing. You just get a... A little move like that? Maybe you got a stew going. I don't know if I move fast enough. Far enough. Huh. I will say it is slightly tough to tell whether or not you've um taken a hit. Like via the resolve. And that's something that's like a holdover from, from the standard game, I'd imagine. More attack speed. We're almost down there, baby. We're almost down there. Working our way through the big boy. All right, well. Receive four right now. Or that at the end of the floor. I think we just, whatever. Should be fine. I'll take some of these. Maybe we look for one more. I've been recording this for almost two hours, and I've got 48 minutes. <laughs> to, to put it into perspective, this is clearly something that you're supposed to do alongside playing the game normally. Again, would be very cool if it was a little bit more supported to just kind of, uh, uh, you know, go through it. Like, maybe after you've, exp you've got all the zones locked in once, you don't need to go find more. Not to mention, like, do they reset each day? What's the deal with it? Like, what's the deal there? I don't know. Either way, I'll be right back. Ba -da -ba -da. All right, so I see. By taking that one that we did lock ourselves into this thing. Is this where we fought the mini boss? I feel like it might be. Or maybe it's just random. I don't know. 50% less coins found. I mean, hey, we're going to do what we can do here. It seems like maybe it's just... Oh, hello. Maybe it's just random when we find that. 
I wanted vengeance. Uh. Pretty cool. I do want to fight them out here if I can help it instead. I like almost dashed into that attack. Okay. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Scoop. Little cheat, little cheat. This is pretty cool, though. We take a lot of extra damage from this. So you want to be very careful on that. Oh, boy. Room complete. So is that one, like, more... Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Tried to do my dash. I didn't have the mana. Or the, uh, the, the jump, rather. So is the thing that this one is just, like, a bit more of a... trap room then is that the idea like i don't really want to have to go all the way back through this but also like i ran all the way through that zone just for this excuse me out of morbid curiosity okay got dog boy okay, watch out sir there we go Ooh. Seems like they're maybe taking a little bit less damage all of a sudden. Like, could be. Not positive. Oops. Tabbed out. Please, no. Oh, okay. So that was not what I had thought. There was just another guy up there, though. Oh, I'm so, so tempted to just, like, hop on over. Do it! Let's go. Do this just yet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, like one more. I'm just kind of curious. I wanted to fight that mini boss boy, huh? Wahoo! All right. Hey, you can see one fewer room ahead on the Sanctum map. Hundred minus hundred max result. <laughs> Do I care? I don't know that I'll like ever really care about that, but I also think that I'm pretty much done it. Benevolent Fountain. Alright, whatever. If that reduces my current resolve by a hundred... Okay, no. Look at that. It looks like I gained health. Pretty cool. Okay. Oop. Okay, we got a lot of... Oh, God, the cooldown on that is bothersome sometimes. Okay. Kind of using this guy to flank them a little bit is really, really nice. Nope. Scoot. My number one tactic, slowly walk around the guy. Until he dies. Did that really hit? Did that really hit? It, it's really, like, again, it, it's weirdly uh, anticlimactic, the hits. Which, you don't want them to be very, very, like, big and in your face in the standard, because it just happens a lot more often, but... In this, it's pretty... I think... I feel like I should know when I got hit. A little bit more, you know what I'm saying? It should be a little bit more obvious and in my face. Not, like, a lot. But, like, just in here. Because the hits are so... A lot more scarce. Holy... Okay, we got a new guy. New guy who dis. Okay. What the hell, man? I did not get out of that, apparently. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can't step on that stuff. 
Um, yeah, apparently I took a couple hits in there. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you when. Oh my god, this guy's a lot more... Dash, dude! Dash, dude! Dash! This guy's a lot more wild than the others. Holy, I hated him. Absolutely hated that guy. Kind of want to, like, die so I'm free, you know? That guy was a lot his patterns. So that's that's it for that floor? <laughs> uh, oh, this heals part of your max resolve. Gotcha. It's out of your max resolve. So that, that does... Never mind me. The rest of what I said. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, benevolent fountain? What's the difference? Okay, out of curiosity, what's the difference between a regular fountain and a benevolent fountain? I do have to know. Like, we'll see if we can find out. Let's play it a little bit more babyish, a little bit more safe. Like, let's... Use our totem a little bit more cheesy. Dash, dude! That cooldown is a lot more than you would think. I believe in traveling light. I believe in traveling light. It's been a been a hot moment since you said that, my guy. So I wonder if after we um get through the one zone, if possibly we get, like, a different kind of visual layout. Because I could have sworn I've s seen something different for this, uh, marketed for this. Like a different little visual dealio. Oh, it's this guy again. It's this guy. He's crazy. Again, maybe I just taunt him just to bring him closer and kind of, like, no. Oh, my God. Okay, there's a, some landmines down there. Oh my god, dude. I can't do this just Get out. Are you the real one? You have to... Ah, you... Jerk! Surprisingly, he's one of the easier ones, I think. He's chaotic as hell. I don't care about any of this garbage. Like, I, is this stuff better? Sure, maybe. Whoop. It's not what I'm going for right now, you know? My Ooh, boy. Hello, sir. I do love that they attack those. They don't attack them only. Like, the moment I give them a smack, it seems like they swap. But it's nice to have. No! Oh, my man ran it. All right, what is a benevolence shrine? I'm gonna random boon. Increased resolve recovered. Well, I wish I didn't do this. Okay, so now that we're one off of the boss kind of looking thing, I, I'm legally obligated. All right, last one for real. Uh, we'll see. Veracath the Waxen. I'm not thinking I'm going to win, but I am really excited that I get to see what this is. Veracath, slay them. Okay. Summon the guy. Okay, so he has like a spin. I'm just going to read him for a little bit here. Okay. I'm going to learn. I mean, I guess I could also just My cheese by... Okay. Back it on up. Some random attacks here. Going, shooting out some random garbage. Just run. Far enough away. Uh, like, I want to get in there and attack. Okay, here we go. This is our chance. That's our, that's our time. Oh! Wait, what? 
Yes. Wait. God, the the uh, lack of pomp and circumstance whenever you get hit. I had no idea I lost 70 resolve there. <laughs> it's just so... It just kind of happens. Well, dang, oh, dang, oh, dang. Alas, alas, though. That is that. That's going to do it here for today for uh, Path of Exile Forbidden Sanctum. Again, like... This is not like a feasible thing to just do as like a video series or anything like that per se, uh, but it's very cool. I'm glad I checked it out, um, you know, just to know what the roguelike element of this currently is. That it, it is there, it is here, it is in addition to the fact that there is obviously the entire action RPG here, um, and there is just a roguelike inside of it for you to do while you're playing the action RPG. Um, is basically what I would say. Like, you probably... So there's, like, eight levels there. What I would say you do is you play the action RPG, you quest, you do the normal stuff, you get up to through eight zones while collecting and storing those extra things, uh, and, and then you go and you do them all at once. Uh, but since I didn't know if each one would be my last, I didn't want to, like, prep a bunch of them and then not have to worry about it. But I just did a lot better than I thought I would do on that second attempt. Um, which obviously makes sense because we got the extra materials, things like that, that you can get uh, throughout your normal Path of Exile experience. Your standard play is how you get those upgrades and those things like that. You can obviously get level ups. You can obviously get um, nice... Um, whatever these shards that kind of stuff like you can get all that still uh but last less that's that it's gonna do it here for today my name is retromation to cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites so this was a very interesting slight departure but not necessarily at the same time how would i rate this as like a, that element as a roguelike itself i would say you know it's clear that it is a roguelike inside of a different game that's not a roguelike that that is very much very, 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 very clear. Uh, but I think that they did a very elegant job of interpreting what they have here already into that. I would say, like, since the whole element of it is is different, I, you know, like, maybe, I would say maybe slightly more ways to regenerate your resolve in combat. Or not, like, in combat, but, like, maybe you get 10% back when you clear a room or something. Like, just something tiny um, would probably be a good feeling thing uh and obviously if you're in there and you lose resolve i feel like maybe there should be a slightly uh more noticeable noise thing because like if you get hit out in here it's like whatever you don't want to get a noise whenever you get hit out here it'd be like bow 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 it'd be it'd be annoying as hell but specifically in that dungeon i think it is relatively important for game feel if that was the case so hopefully that is something that gets added in either way I had a lot of fun checking this out. Uh, if you guys want more, I mean, let me know. If you want to see just Path of Exile, like, I'm new to it, obviously. That should be no surprise. Um, but I would be curious to check it out, play more. If you guys are excited and interested, I could certainly do that. Let me know in the comment down below. But thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.